about each night. <laughs> My first guest can be seen every single night right after this show as host of Late Night with Conan O'Brien, a nutty guy, a wacky guy. If you, well, I'm sure you've seen his show, but take a look at him in action here. I didn't get the joke in the beginning uh, about uh, the uh, bulls uh, that, you know. I didn't get it either. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm a complete moron. I read what they put in front of me. I thought you'd explain it to me because it's obviously a sports joke. Because if he goes to a bulls game, if she takes him to a bulls game, uh, she might get kicked in the groin because Dennis Rodman's there. <laughs> I'm looking for, this is a great show you got tonight. It's a, it's a fun show tonight. I'm looking, that woman backstage. Ooh, she's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Hiya, Goyle. <laughs> now, are you enjoying living in New York? Do you like it? I know That's you... right, we do the show out of New York. Most right, people right. don't know that. Yeah. And don't seem to care, but... Uh, <laughs> which disturbs me. No, I do the show out of New York. I, I have a nice apartment. I live down in Soho. Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah, which is very cool. <laughs> Yeah, huh? very cool. <laughs> or it was cool. cool. Yeah, yeah, right, until I moved in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That giant howdy doody ruined everything. <laughs> Lou Reed moved out of the neighborhood when I moved in. But uh, no, it's amazing. I live, I found a nice apartment. Swear to God, I didn't know this when I moved in. Yeah. True story, Cindy Crawford lives right down the hall from me. True okay, story. Really? Yeah. You yeah. aren't stalking and then found the apartment. No, no, no. No. Oh, that's that's, that would be neat. pathetic, Jay. Do you, do, you do, do you do the couple shooting I was shoot looking thing? for Linda Evangelista oh, and right. uh, got sidetracked. No, but I, I moved into this apartment. Yeah. And they told me, you know, Cindy Crawford lives right down the hall. And I used to, every time I get off the elevator, I see her door, you know? And I would, like, look at her door a bit and think, is she going to come out? Maybe right, something's going to happen. You know, she yeah. sees me, I see her. Yeah. Nothing. I never saw Cindy Crawford. I've been living there for a f I was living there a full year, never saw her. I would hang out in the lobby. Just waiting. <laughs> hang out in the lobby, waiting for Cindy Crawford to come in. <laughs> Nothing ever happened. Living there a full year, and everybody who came to visit me would see Cindy Crawford. I would wait out, I'd hang out down there for an hour, right. just trying to chat yeah. up the doorman. Hey, <laughs> nice lobby, huh? You've been here many times, you know? Yeah. And then I would uh, finally give up, go upstairs, order a pizza. Pizza delivery guy would say, Cindy Crawford's down there, man. <laughs> <laughs> She's wearing a thong. Oh, really? <laughs> She's mm. jazzercising. And, uh, <laughs> and I just couldn't, I just could never see her. One day, true story, three weeks ago, I oversleep. I wake up. Roll out of bed. I'm really late to get to right. work and do a pre-tape. So I just put jeans on, okay, really quickly. Wear the same t-shirt that I slept in. Ooh. Put on some shoes, no socks. Run down the hallway like Jerry right, Lewis. Right, kind of. Jay, you laugh. That is how I run. You're pretty much the... It's called the crab, Jay, and it's an efficient way to run. So I'm running down the hallway like this. And I haven't brushed my teeth. I, I haven't done anything to myself. My hair is all over the place. And I get to the elevator. Who's standing there but Cindy Crawford? She goes, Ooh. hey, how are you? Standing next to her boyfriend, the handsomest man in the world. Oh, really? yeah. <laughs> he has a business card that says handsomest man really? in the world. Really? Well, that's, that's Chiseled impressive. chin. And she's like, and they look beautiful. She's incredibly beautiful. They both look like they stepped out of a magazine <laughs> ad. OK? And I go, hi. <laughs> and I just woke up. And you know that thing when you just wake up, when someone calls you, or you just wake up, you can't talk? She's like, how's it going, Conan? And I go, nah. <laughs> Happy to see you. <laughs> Elevator. <laughs> Elevator, good. <laughs> and she gets a little freaked out. Yeah. And the handsomest man in the world, who's a restaurateur, an oh. international restaurateur, and his name is, like, Dirk. So it's like, it's very nice to meet you. And then I go, nah, you handsome. You're handsome. And he goes, right. And they both kind of back away. We get off the elevator. They get out. They stand in front of the building. And Cindy Crawford and the handsomest man in the world go into this passionate kiss Ooh. before they leave for the day. She's going to go one way. He's going to go the other. They have this passionate kiss. And I realize I'm standing too close. <laughs> I'm invading. The, I'm like, they're kissing right here. And I'm going. <laughs> So 
So, <laughs> needless to say, she thinks I'm a drunk now. <laughs> really? Really? <Yeah. laughs> well, let me ask, was it hard to find this apartment? I mean, because it's impossible, isn't it? It's pretty crazy. And it's very snobby, isn't it? Yeah, New York City is very difficult to find an apartment in. And uh, you actually have to, people don't know this in the rest of the country, it's one of the uh, many reasons to stay away from New York City. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> if you want to get into a nice building in New York, you have to meet what's called the co-op board. Yeah. And they have to decide if you're the right kind of person. And these are the people who live in the building, and they have to yeah, prove it's you. An, it's a select group of people that live in the oh. building, and they meet with you. And there's a guy who runs the co-op board. Usually you usually have to have a meeting with that guy. They're suspicious of entertainment folk. Oh, well, they yeah. think we're all circus carnies, <laughs> you know? And, uh, <laughs> Jay, you did where some did time get, as a circus where carny. Where they get that idea? Yeah. But I, uh, so I had to meet with the guy. And he said, I said, well, let's just meet in this nice, uh, we'll meet for breakfast at this nice uh, hotel dining room. And I put on, I dress like this, I actually wear a tie, and uh, I'm looking so much better. Right. Right. That's what happens when I, you know, grab me up. Well, nice and, you uh, put on a tie for them, <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. yeah, right, so I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's got lost. And uh, I, 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 I get there, and I'm just presenting myself. Right. Uh, he says, now you're in entertainment. I go, I really don't know anybody in entertainment. I, I like to read. I yeah, like to have a warm bath. I like to be in bed, usually by 9 o'clock at night. I collect stamps. Stamps? Very, yes. Very quiet? Uh, do you play a musical instrument? I play a very quiet flute, you know. Very. <laughs> I'm just presenting myself as the quietest, most right. boring guy in the world. Don't have any entertainment friends. This really happened. Someone walks up behind me, taps me on the shoulder and goes, Conan, how you doing? It's Gene Simmons from Kiss. Ooh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, Gene not, Simmons, not, not, not kidding. He was on the show. He knows I'm a Kiss fan. And he goes, Conan, my man, how are you? And he leans over to this guy and he goes, hi, I'm Gene Simmons from Kiss. And the guy's like, what? And he says, yeah, I spit blood for a living. <laughs> Conan's a good friend. I'm going, not friends. Don't know him at all. Gene who? <laughs> It was very sad, so, uh, but I still got into the building. Well, that's very good. The guy was a big kiss head. Yeah. Oh, that, well, that worked out all right. Yeah, he now, didn't me, realize without the makeup, you let see. Let me ask you, I heard from one of our writers, is this true, Milton Berle? Oh, you know this story? You heard about this? Well, you know, this is one of those apocryphal tales that you hear. Okay, uh, this happened a little while ago, yeah. but uh, it's true. This is a, a true rumor that, that's been getting out there. Uh, I, uh, I had an affair with Milton Berle. Yes, you've heard it all. No, <laughs> this really happened. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, we're doing our show a while ago. We're doing the program. Across the hall is a newsroom where they shoot a show called Live at Five. Oh, sure. And it's okay, yeah. the local show, and they right. do lots of uh, news stories, and they have different people on. Milton Burrow is across the hall, and he's doing an interview over there. He leaves the interview, and he hears all this music and applause right. and everything going on behind these doors. And Milton Burrow says, you know what? It's, what's going on over there? And a, a, a page says, they're shooting the uh, Conan O'Brien show. And Milton Burrow says... I'm going to just walk on, do one of my famous walk-ons, and, you know, greet America. I'm just going to walk. And they said, well, maybe we should tell somebody. He says, no. <laughs> this is a surprise. Milton Burrow is going to walk out there and do one of his famous walk-ons. <laughs> Uncle Milty will just burst through and walk on. So he goes charging through, bursts through the doors, walks out there, greets the audience, starts doing all this shtick. We're in commercial. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Does he, he, doesn't he doesn't know that. And so he's doing all this shtick to cameras that aren't even on. He's like going, rang, rang, rang. and he's walking around and he comes over to me and I'm trying to say, uh, Milton, we're in commercial. He's like, shh, booby, booby. You know, look at this kid here, you know. How old are you? What are you, three months old? I got ties older than you. And I'm trying to tell him and then he, the audience goes crazy, he blows him a big kiss and he says, I'm out of here, thank you, and sails out the door. Five, four, three, two, one. We're back. <laughs> and so, there's nothing you can do. He's a, uh, well, you've had a great year. And congratulations on uh, being, you've got a five-year deal, so you're here to what, 2002? When this deal is over, I'll be 19 years 19 old. 19 years old. <laughs> yeah. Conan, very funny. Always very a pleasure much. to have yeah, you. Conan O'Brien, be right back with Hal Goodman and Mark Liz right after this. <laughs>